In the previous video, I explained how continuous dynamic and continuous can miss collisions with fast rotating objects. The solution is continuous speculative. Speculative collision detection actually creates a bounding box between the current position of the object and the expected position of the object in the next frame. This expected position does not only consider the linear motion of the object, but also the angular motion of the object. Now this bounding box actually uses the current velocity of the object in this particular frame in order to detect the potential contact points in the next frame depending on the current linear velocity as well as the angular velocity of the object. So this is why speculative collision detection does not miss a fast rotating object as you can see in the example over here. Further. Continuous speculative can also collide with a static collider as well as a dynamic collider. Remember static colliders are those objects which do not have a rigid body attached and dynamic colliders are those objects which have a rigid body attached. So in summary if collision detection method is continuous speculative, the fast moving object can collide with both static and dynamic colliders as well as if the object is rotating very fast, the collision will still occur which is not the case in continuous dynamic and continuous. Also, the performance of continuous speculative is better in comparison to continuous dynamic and continuous. But there are some drawbacks, which I'm gonna discuss in the next video.